Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name's Chris Smith, Shambles Guru on the interweb, and I'm up here in North Thailand in uh, a city called Chiang Mai. And I'm going to share a story about Windows security, which I uh, um, experienced, went through just a few days ago. And in this little story, it's going to show uh, spots of pure genius, and also it's going to show me as a complete idiot at parts of it. I have two machines which run Windows in my uh, in my little home office. One's a laptop, the other one's a desktop, and they're both running Windows 7, home edition, I think, and they're both running AVG antivirus free software. Um, and thank you very much. A call out to the AVG boys and girls. Uh, I think I've been using you for 20 years, and it's been great. But recently, it's uh, got bloated. It's, uh, you know, the menu looks like this now. Instead of... Uh, just one or two buttons saying check, skip, delete, or whatever it was. And not only do you have the free antivirus, but uh, you try and encourage us all to buy AVG PC tune-up and subscribe to the services. And to be honest, the, the notifications and the pop-ups have become very tiresome. And I have a feeling it the, the it's been turned into a bit of bloatware and slowing my machine down. So I thought I'd do some research and find out what can I do to replace the AVG with something else. So I asked uh, a few friends about uh, about their experiences with antivirus on Windows machines, especially Windows 7, which is quite old. Um, and by the way, it's now October 2018, so Windows 7, I think, has been retired officially by Microsoft. But leave comments in the, in, in the bottom underneath this video if you ha have any other knowledge. There isn't really a, a research button on the keyboards. I wish there was. And I do like this graphics. I couldn't resist throwing that in. Anyway, I wanted to research uh, alternatives to AVG. I thought, uh, I, well, I asked lots of friends, did some Google searches. Uh, you might also be interested to know that there's some websites that will give you alternatives. So whatever you've got, there's one here, alternative.to, where you're going to buy a new car, it will recommend another type of car for the same price that you could buy if you wanted to change or if you wanted to buy uh, Adobe Photoshop it will offer the alternatives that are available to, to you instead of spending money annually with Adobe for Adobe Photoshop subscription personally I like something which you probably already know called GIMP G -I -M -P. Um, so have a look at alternative.to. There is actually another similar site called alternative2.net and this one is purely about um, software. So in both these websites I typed in AVG free edition and, and, and had a look to see what would come up. And try it yourself and you'll see there's a lot of alternatives there and some reviews about wh why you should choose one over the other. One that seemed to pop up for me was Microsoft Security Essentials, which in the early days, which I think was 10 years ago when this first appeared, it didn't get very good reviews. Um, but more recently, the reviews were quite positive, although I think they've stopped producing it. And I think I know they stopped producing it. I did a bit of searching and found a website on the Microsoft uh, uh, page uh, site and uh, there's, an, there's a version of Microsoft Security Essentials for Windows 7, which is what I have, which was available for free. But on this page, it also mentions something called Windows Defender, built, uh, which it said was built into Windows. But I, I forgot that. I just went straight for Microsoft Security Essentials for the low price. Um, the page next to this actually compared the two. And there's not a lot of difference in what is offered. You can see from there, and I'm sure you can read and you can press the pause button or the back button on your video player to, to, to read this. Uh, and you see Windows Defender, though, is for later versions of Windows. So I downloaded it, installed it. Uh, this is what it looks like. Um, it's on both my Windows machines, my desktop, my laptop, and uh, working fine. I say working fine. There was a problem at one point, <laughs> although this is where I look like an idiot. I was, uh, it didn't boot up automatically when I switched on my machines. And doing some research on Google, as one does, um, I actually found out that it wasn't really a problem. It was just slow and took up to two minutes for it to actually start running automatically when I switched the machines on. 
So it's a matter of being a bit patient. But I couldn't resist that earlier comment about Microsoft Defender, which it said really wasn't available for Windows 7. Um, it said that uh, it's built into Windows machines and you just have to go into the control panel. I thought I'd try it. So on my desktop and my Windows, uh, on my uh, desktop and my laptop machines, I went to uh, look at the uh, start button on Windows. <laughs> Sorry, I have to smile. You know why. Why, why call it the start button? I went to the control panel, clicked on that. I went to this. Um, this is one view of the control panel. I don't use myself personally. I usually go up to the top right hand corner. I click on category and click on icons. And then I see this and lo and behold, at the bottom, you can see I put a, a mark around it, Windows Defender, nothing to download. It's been there all these years. It's been there even on my Windows 7 machines <laughs> so I couldn't resist I uninstalled my uh, earlier Windows download clicked on Windows Defender and lo and behold there's nothing in you know, nothing to download nothing to install the run install it just appeared and here it is the screen looks very similar although it does say Windows Defender at the top the screen looks very similar um, to the earlier screen and uh, it does more or less what the early, earlier um, software did or does um, but it did seem a bit faster to be honest and uh, so I did some scans and it found found some stuff and got rid of that so it looks like boys and girls that uh, if you have a Windows machine from Windows 7 you don't have to download anything to help with antivirus and uh, it seems that the reviews now, whereas when Windows Defender first came out, it did get a bit of stick and not a lot of positive reviews. But now it seems that uh, Windows Defender, most of the reviews and most people I've talked to are saying good things about it. And who knows Windows better than Microsoft themselves? As I quote somebody from who said that to me yesterday. So there we go, Windows Defender. There is, though, a slight caveat to this, is that Windows Defender didn't seem to deal with uh, malware so well. And it looks like that a dynamic duo would be Windows Defender and Malware Bytes. So I actually downloaded Malware Bytes, and, and I'm still using the free version. Uh, it's free for a month, so you can do full scans. And, to, and it came up with a lot of malware on on my laptop in particular um, so I think I may well keep that going um, it is a subscription service uh, I'll decide in a month whether I pay or not so Windows Defender and Malware Bytes looks like it's a superb combination for protecting your Windows machines even Windows 7 but right up to Windows 10 um, I'd love to hear your own comments about that um, we, we all have different views and favorites and leave them in the comments below this video where I'm going to put it onto YouTube and that's where it will be. So that's it. There we are. I hope uh, you enjoyed that and got uh, something positive out of it. Um, it's under this copyright license. Feel free to modify it, share it with others, but you can't, don't charge them money and give me an, some attribution if you would. So that's it. All, all this is done on the, everything, all this, all these graphics and this presentation all done on my iPad. Maybe that could be another presentation. How did I do all of this on my, just my iPad? Have fun boys and girls. Take care.